What is that? Ah! Okay, they have yet to explain why he's all demon-like. What's going on there? And thank you so much for clicking on my video. Like the title says, I'm going to be watching and reacting to the Korean movie that is currently up on Netflix called Space Sweepers. When I saw that Song Joon Ki was going to be one of the main leads in this movie, I was like, yes, add to my list. Though this is mostly a K-drama reaction channel, I figured this was in the realm and I actually did start watching it <laughs> while I was getting ready to actually react to something else. But I was so taken aback and had so much to say about this movie that I was like, we need to talk about it here. Let's get into watching. And of course, I'll give my final thoughts and review of the movie at the end with a timestamp. So let's get into it. So this looks to be a like huge sort of international project. I mean, just all the different production companies and like groups that were involved at the beginning. Okay, so it says in 2092, forests vanish and deserts spread, fading sun and acid soil cause planets to disappear. Fleeing the sick earth, UTS Corporation builds a new orbiting home for humanity. Okay, we fucked the earth up, surprise. Only some special few can go up into the orbit. Now this is really beautifully done, I have to say. Like, this is cool. Oh, it's our boy, hey baby. Yeah, he's supposed to be playing kind of a not so nice character. All right, we gotta turn it up because there's actual English in this, in this show. So it seems like Teho, who is the lead here, he's had a really rough time. It's so weird to watch a Korean movie with so much English in it already. Non-UTS citizens. Did they go into what UTS stands for? Oh my gosh. See, that just seems so jarring. <laughs> like, look at all these foreigners, these international citizens. Okay, so I want to talk about this guy. I don't know if any of you are going to recognize him because I was like, who is this? He sort of looked familiar. His acting is okay. It's good acting. And when I looked up the cast, this is Richard Armitage. Now, I know Richard Armitage from Robin Hood. He played Guy of Gisborne. They actually have a cast of sort of known actors. Sort of known. Oh, this guy, this guy's acting, <laughs> he was the cringiest. So the very beginning of this movie and like the English speakers here, the, the reporter and the, the guy giving the tour, this gave me very cringe feelings. <laughs> and I feel like the start of the movie is really cool, but the English start of this movie is like a little weird to me. And then it does get better though. Oh, this guy, this Canadian boy. Does anyone else think he looks like a uh, off-brand of Channing Tatum, <laughs> especially with the jacket? This is a really cool scene. So they're like collecting space debris because that's the only way they can like make money. And this is just a crazy, this is a crazy scene. I like this whole, all these international space junk. We got like Russia, we've got France, we got Canada. <laughs> Victory, South Korea. She looks like she's 12 years old, but she's a captain of a ship. Love it. And this poor guy has no space boots. He's got no shoes now, so he's like having to drive this ship <laughs> with his socks. Oh, the robot! This robot really intrigued me in the trailer. He's so cool. Like this robot, oh my gosh. And the graphics, like the special effects, I am just like blown away. Look at this guy. Like that yelling, that was so awkward sounding. You're just gonna take everything? It has its moments of cringe. I don't know what to do. You just gotta move past it. Alter course, oh no. So here's what I'm a little confused about. Everybody's got handles. So are they having to work in unison to do what they're doing right now? And oh look, he just let go of the cargo. So does that mean that they actually got the cargo in there and that was like their final destination? Or did they just abandon the cargo? This scene left me a little confused. Oh no. But good to know that there's this like bubble layer that like doesn't break anything, but they break the antenna. Oh no. Fa okay, so this is the factory waste management satellite. That's crazy. <gasps> That's really cool. It's a satellite, but it's like a whole world. Oh, this looks terrible. Is that Mars down there? Is that supposed to be Mars? Or is that just a planet that they're like dumping stuff on? <gasps> I think they're just dumping stuff on that planet. Star or whatever it is. The materials. Okay, so he's not a cashier. 
Okay, this guy, I love this actor. I don't know who he is. He's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> I feel like he did that just so that his arm would be outstretched so he could give him the stuff that he owed. He's like, I will murder you. This is my company's money, bitch. Get out of here. He's wearing, he put trash bags on his feet. Oh my gosh, so he's like taking spoiled spoiled food. And he seems to be looking for someone. I'm assuming a daughter. Okay, he's funny, and I, I thought I recognized him from Mr. Sunshine. I like his Frenchness. He's so French. And that's what's really interesting because the conversations, those that are able to communicate in their own language seem to be pretty good actors. Their interaction with the Korean actors, I don't know if they just really rehearsed a lot or what they did to really get that dynamic down before filming, but it works. Like these core characters, the French guy, this one, those guys are really good. I am enjoying them in this movie. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, that plant is dead, bro. What are you trying to water? Oh my gosh, this is so funny. This robot just like schools them and just takes all their money. And they're all in debt. Like it's not just our main character that's in debt. Like all these guys are just trying to make some money to get out of debt. And they're all cheating. That, that's what's so funny about this. They're all cheating. Oh, I forgot to mention early on that this is based off of a webtoon. And I'm kind of interested in the webtoon. Oh, he took that guy's rice to go see if the dead body was who he was looking for. How'd you, he's like so suspicious. Okay, so he doesn't know that he stole it. He just thinks that someone on the ship stole it. I love it. I love how tiny she is compared to these guys, but I love that I, I feel like she can definitely take them. Oh no, he's like counting down how much more money he owes. Oh my God. You're basically screwed, <laughs> this robot. Bub, why you gotta be such a downer? Wait, who's Porky? The one managing the fund, okay. So Porky, who is managing their accounts and everything, I guess has run off. <gasps> oh my gosh. So she just lost her money. He just found out that they lost the money that Porky, their accountant or fund manager, I think ran off with. <laughs> They're just an unlucky group. <laughs> this guy with his hatchet and hair. Oh gosh, but she's like, boom. Dang, I love this. They, they knock each other out. <laughs> oh, that looked bad. They're all down for the count, except for the robot. <laughs> Bob's like, ooh, you guys are, I'm just gonna go put my money away. Oh my gosh, look at that collection. I think they're scouring for parts for maybe their ship or just to like sell. robot how come he doesn't just like kill them all like he seems to be very opinionated and like he cheats them at cards this robot's very interesting because it doesn't seem like he has a do no harm or like follow the three laws programming you know like i wonder if they go into more detail about these characters in the webtoon that's what I'm kind of like thinking now. I kind of feel like I need to get into the webtoon because this movie alone is like super awesome and it's a movie. So it's like they probably couldn't cover all the things that the webtoon covered or not. I'm really so clueless about webtoons. So I guess they are scouring the ship for parts and this is very interesting because before, you know, our um, Robin Hood <laughs> actor guy, <laughs> He was talking about how there's like this magical plant DNA thing, and I'm pretty sure that it winds up being this kid. Aw, they have no home. This kid is so darn cute. This little bowl cut haircut, it's just so great. Like this kid wins the movie. In the rear seat airbag, so the kid was just like stored in there wearing a suit. And the robot is kind of recognizing the kid because the kid that's on the run, oh, and he's thinking of his daughter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so funny. This kid and the sneezes, oh my god. <laughs> The comedy in this movie, like, they just do such a good job. It, this is both comedic and so emotional already. Like, how do they do it? They make such good movies. Oh my god, they're trying, they're trying to get out of there. Oh, this poor little kid just wants to play. Okay, so the scanners apparently didn't detect life. 
And so they're kind of putting it together that, oh, it's Dorothy because it's a robot. It's not going to detect life. Oh, it's cleaning up. <laughs> He's just so unlucky. Like, he lost a Kai by Bo. Here he is. Okay, so I guess that stuff was in the storage unit too. And so that's how they kind of figure out who this kid really is. Oh, she's picking up the little pieces. Like this whole little outfit that she's got on. This Mod Podge. Okay, yeah, so she's like got this little magic DNA thing that like interacts with plants. That's a tomato plant, by the way. I had no idea what this plant was when this movie started. It starts to slowly grow. In this negotiation, he just, he screws himself over once again. Use, uses private, so that's a future smartphone. Okay, and they're sending, they're sending out the, cause they're gonna try and ransom, I think, the lone wolf or dark wolves. I already forgot their name. It literally was on the screen two seconds ago. They're like, oh shit, it's working. They didn't come up with an amount beforehand. <clears throat> if you really insist, we'll give you a discount. <laughs> Tell me in, in cash is fine. I'm like, oh, shh. That means you should ask for more, bro. And is he speaking Spanish? This movie, they are constantly switching between different languages, which I actually really like and think that that's why it's so popular. It's gonna make everybody happy and not just everybody in the US, but everybody internationally. Like this is a really fun movie. Also, I just now noticed that Bub, the robot, he is actually able to make like facial expressions with his head. I don't know if I like that though. Oh, here we are, okay. Oh, we gotta turn it up. I'm like going deaf. I like how he immediately starts judging her artwork. <laughs> and he drew him. <laughs> It's so cute how she draws everybody. She's a little artist. <laughs> He's like, this one I recognize. And then he gives her edits and so she like redraws. <laughs> it's so cute. Like I, I think that their relationship plus obviously our other main leads relationship is really cute. But like this one is like really special. <laughs> it's like, make sure, let us know if you feel something weird so uh, we can run away before you explode. And I like that these are their like masks. <laughs> like he ends up duct taping it later and like they have like voice modifiers somehow. It's just so interesting because it's very futuristic but also very junky. Like the future is gonna be full of junk y'all. I don't know if you've noticed that but this is very accurate. <laughs> We're just waste machines. Was that too dark and deep? And I like that they all have those cool like translators. It looks like they're just in the back of the ear. Like what language is this? I'm pretty sure that this is a French actor. And he notices the tomatoes. Look how big and green they've gotten so quickly. Mmm. I do find it funny that like no one on the ship really notices or thinks it's weird that the tomato plant is suddenly growing successfully. <laughs> Their luck's just changing, that's all. I think they're both frightened of getting caught by this police officer, but also if he attacks the little kid. Oh, look at them all working together. That's so cute. And they're late for their rendezvous, or they're about to be late. Okay, so it's not really actually hurting him or gonna break his wrist, so maybe they're just sort of letting him collect the money, but he can't really stop them because maybe robots, because the robots can't actually have accounts and stuff. I mean, that's why he's probably keeping it in the container on the ship, like, you know, money under the mattress kind of thing. Oh, she's so smart. She's like, I'm just gonna wait for my opportunity. Okay, boys, this is how you manipulate the situation. Take notes. So apparently patrol officers like him are also non-citizens. So even though he's speaking French, so who are true citizens? If I read the webtoon, am I gonna really understand like what UTS stands for and you know how you are a citizen of UTS. It's like we're gonna blend right in. Everyone has masks in here. Oh, calling her our girl. <laughs> she looks like a cat and she's in a cat backpack. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so is this like kind of a rest stop place where it's like yeah we're all gonna go to the gate 32 rest stop. Have a party. Okay so I think that's the guy. Okay. He has a gun, but no bullets. <laughs> yeah, shake it out, because, you know. Oh, yeah, if anyone recognizes it, because, I mean, if they confuse this kid for Dorothy. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That girl just, like, took her hat. Ah, ha, ha, I have a hat. I'm a silly blonde. <laughs> okay, so everyone's, everyone's seeing her. Oh, no. Cut him. Okay, so he knows that it's not Dorothy, though. He knows who it is, really. 
So were they using this to capture her? But they are trying to eliminate her. So, uh-oh. Whoa! Oh yeah, she can like create a shield, like a protective shield with the little sparkly things. Whoa, look at those eyes. Those soldiers are very interesting because I'm pretty sure our lead was supposed to be a child soldier or something before this. Oh, she broke the smartphone. So now she finally asks the kid what her name is. Oh, see, I love this relationship. I said put the explosive down. Uncle Tiger, oh! <laughs> I love it. Uncle Teo, Uncle Tiger. <laughs> I'm getting more and more curious about her backstory too. Like she's just drinking all the time. She's looking at the plants. She also goes through the articles and the backpacks. So I think that she connects things pretty quickly. The tree of life. The tree of life, that's it. It's like a super plant, but it looks like it's in that child. He doesn't want Earth to be restored for some reason. And yeah, these creepy vein things coming out of his neck. What's going on here? And he wants this guy to physically prove his crushing regret. What does he mean by that? As he's like getting really creepy and scary and veiny. What is happening there? Like they just keep adding these insane twists. I love for you to hear it. I love it. <laughs> Who is this guy? He's a good singer too, if that's really his voice. <laughs> She's like, please make it stop. So, okay, did something happen between the captain and that other dude? Like, she got drunk and kissed him or something? I feel like that's what they were saying. Oh, look, it's our Canadian Channing Tatum. <laughs> I love her little disguise. It's so cute. Don't laugh, don't talk, don't draw pictures. He's so mean. What a mean uncle. Uncle Teo, you're mean. It's like, why do you want the scissors? Ah, oh yeah, I love it. Their luck is slowly turning in their favor. It's so great, I love it. Oh, look at her go, Whee! Like all of these actors, who are they? I can't find their information anywhere. Like a few of them popped up in Mr. Sunshine. I don't know if you ever watched that drama. That had a lot of international foreigner actors. It's like, nope, 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 you gotta pay. We're selling a lot! Uh-oh, Uncle Teo's getting attached. Even raised a tiger. <laughs> oh my gosh. Captain Jing is smart, so don't make her angry. I love all of her questions. Like, this is how we get the backstory of everyone. What did you do in the past, sis? He's like, sis? How'd you know? So cute. I think that this is a transgender robot. I mean, it's played by a male actor, but yeah, he's, she's trying to get a, a full reconstruction on the black market, so she, that's what she's saving up for. But she's scared that people are gonna laugh at her. Oh, and she doesn't have the money. <laughs> air to, oh, so, wow. She did air to air attack, assassination and so on. She did a lot of bad stuff. <laughs> You're not a, uh, and then she's like, I'm so envious. You should have said so, you little punk. So I'm confused by that. Uncle Tao, he's just a broke, nasty guy. <laughs> yeah, he really has had no luck. Yeah, so this was an interesting backstory. Oh, the baby. All because they were non-citizens. They were illegal cargo. This is scary. They like killed all these people. Look at this boy, child soldier. So he was like really young. Raise the baby. This is hurting my ovaries so much. She like leaves it with a nanny robot. Oh my gosh, my ovaries. Oh, this is even sadder and sweeter. That just like, oh, those eyes, that face. <laughs> oh, he'll be a truly good person. He couldn't hurt anyone after that. Oh no. Dismissed from the force. He's the one that dismissed him. Then he's homeless with his little girl. <laughs> This little girl makes me feel so sad. Yeah, this is just absolutely terrible what happens. It's just tragic. And I honestly love how they did this. Like, this is just like, what? <laughs> really, really good cinematography, good acting, SFX or great lighting on set. This is some crazy stuff happening. I am in it. And like all these people are out there just like flying into space. Though, so, guys, for space, there is no sound. So even though it is tragic, you wouldn't actually be hearing the people screaming. At least that's what I've been told in a lot of like science explained type videos. Okay, so they're searching for her, at least for her body. 
So yeah, if he doesn't find her in three years, which he can't afford to do, she might leave orbit and they might never find her body. So I don't think he's expecting to find her alive. I think he's just expecting to find her body. And of course he can't pay for it. His citizenship has been revoked because, you know, of what happened. Because he's a non-citizen, he can only pay in cash, which that's interesting. Like this whole, if you're a non-citizen, cash only thing. All these people over here, this is just tragic. Yeah, he just wants to find her body. That's even sadder. It's like, I think I'm done now. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, this whole thing. Oh my gosh, he is so unlucky. He had that small string of luck and then it just has to all come back and like slap him in the face. Oh yeah, they are, they're there to impound the ship too. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, this makeup, this poor girl. Yeah, where's Captain Jung? Oh, just looking at all the paperwork about this child's DNA being like a plant. Oh, <laughs> Uncle Tiger's worried about his girl. So I need money, I need to find my girl. I'm about to run out of time. I on the prize, tiger. UTS Hyung Kong. So I think Kong was the guy that was trying to get her. I think that that was Dr. Kong. All right, where's he running to? Where's he going? Did he catch her scent? Okay, interesting. Get her, Uncle Tiger, get her. So is this Dr. Kong again? Like who is this masked person? Oh, wow, that was an interesting, a pew, and then all the sliding. Oh, is it the cashier? He like took him down with one hand. Whoa, okay, there's like a bunch of them. Who are these folks? Ah, somebody like pulled his dreads. I guess hair pulling is a thing now. All right, let's find out who this guy is. We gonna unmask him? There's the captain coming out of all her research and, oh. <laughs> so I think it is the cashier. Okay, so we're back with him talking with the reporter one-on-one. -on -one. That's the other thing. This guy's supposed to be like 100 or something years old. How is he so young looking? You, James Sullivan, you are accelerating his death. Buddy, I can tell you're really trying, but I'm just like, what happened here? I think it's this guy. He like takes it down. Like I'm feeling the emotion, but I'm also like, oh. Okay, this, I mean, he's totally gonna get murdered in a moment anyway. <laughs> she needs to go to the bathroom. Oh, why'd they do that? No robot poops. So this proves that she's human, that she just farted. <laughs> That's how they prove she's human. <laughs> that is true. I don't think we've seen her go to the bathroom yet. The daughter of nanorobotic scientist Kong Hyunu at the Mars Terraforming Lab. Okay, so they're all part of that organization. Black boxes. Okay, why can't I remember that they're called black boxes? Oh, okay, so UTS citizens are basically all the wealthy people that can like get access to the orbital world. Is he gonna do it? Okay, well. Like this is very sinister. The emotion is there, but I don't know, maybe because I'm here to see a Korean movie, I'm like, what are these guys doing here? Oh, okay, so the veins are popping up again. Oh, they're in an environmental organization and they know the truth and they worked for him. Oh, so she was sick and it ravaged her nerves. Whoa, and that's really cool. Oh my goodness, it healed her. And Dorothy's body started to talk with other nanobots. They don't have an explanation as to how the nanobots do what they do to plants because of her, but she is the She's the thing that's gonna bring Mars back. And Sullivan grabbed Dorothy. Okay, so they are trying to destroy Dorothy, but not for what the public thinks. At two degrees Celsius. Okay, the hydrogen bomb. Like, he's a good actor. <laughs> Uh-oh, the soldiers are here. Wow, this is a good little plot thickening moment. Really enjoying it greatly. Some of the actors aren't as good. I'm just gonna have to get over it. Okay, so yeah, they're they're finding all the, all the people that actually worked for that environmental group, tracking them down. Maybe they saved the better actors for this environmental group. Because at least him, who's got the major speaking part, he's doing pretty good. Uncle Tails got her. So it, her name is Dorothy, but she also has a Korean name. Oh, she was in there pooping that whole time? How much poop was in her little body? Like, I feel like they were having that conversation for a while. Oh no, don't sneeze. Oh. <laughs> Did 47 hear it? So I feel like we're gonna see Uncle Teo in action since he used to be a child warrior. <laughs> 47's 
forty seven's like, hey there. Bro, you better get out of there. Okay, so I guess they're on the ship. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't know why I found his like psyching himself up so funny and they knocked him down real fast too. He was like, oh, oh, oh. down he went. Ah! Look at this, this is just impossible. <laughs> this is pretty epic. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh thank goodness, Bubs. Bubs saving the day. Maybe he was hoping that if they fell, you know, the nanobots would kind of come back out and be like, well, you're attached to the little girl, so maybe he would have rotated. I know that sounds bad. It's gonna get the heart. Oh no! So maybe I kind of called it a little bit. I mean, the nanobots should save the little girl. Whoa, Tarzan, Uncle Tiger over here. Oh, what a sweet moment. Oh my gosh, is Uncle Tiger gonna die? They don't really let a lot of these ones live in really good Korean movies, so I feel like because I'm so attached to Uncle Tiger, he's probably gonna die. Or maybe Uncle Tao will die. Oh, does that sound wrong? Gosh, this is intense. Uh-oh, they're going into space debris. What are they gonna do? Yeah, they're like, ah, uh, yeah, we're not going in there. Oh, I am worried for them. What's gonna happen? Are the little nanobots gonna come out and just cover the whole ship because she's that powerful? She's counting down. Good girl, good girl. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Stay cool, stay cool. I feel like the nanobots are gonna save the day. They're like, yeah, we're gonna die here. We're gonna die. It's been good knowing you. Wow, this is insane. What is going on? Did I call it? Did I call it? At least the front part of the ship. Oh, the whole ship. Oh, wow. Look at this little kid savior. I love it. She's so magical with her nanobots. Uh-oh. Something coming towards them? Oh, no. <laughs> the kid passes out right at that moment. Oh, no. So I think that the nanobots maybe do exhaust her. Can she now control them, kind of? Her heart stopped? Oh, my gosh. What's going to happen? Oh, my gosh. Really? <laughs> She's a fart machine. <laughs> Me and Uncle Tiger. Uncle Tiger gets it. I will say I am not a fan of pooping and fart humor, and that seems to be a very funny thing in Korean culture. They are not afraid of bringing a little flatulence into the comedy. I've watched Korean dramas where characters have pooped their pants in a car because it's like, oh, it's suddenly an emergency situation. Oh, what's happening here? So there, is this is this is some sort of scan, but who's being scanned? Okay, he's being scanned, so what is he? Okay, so that scan didn't really help me figure out what he is. Uh, I was a little distracted. It said UTS. What is breaking apart here? Something is breaking apart and falling into Earth. Was it that whole debris planet? What's going on? Is this someone's dream? Is someone dreaming this? This is a dream. This isn't real. This has to be a dream. Okay, she's dreaming about it because she's very smart and pretty much knows the outcome of everything. She's the genius. I like her character more and more, especially after that little backstory. Okay, so as long as they stay where they are, they're pretty much safe. This Uncle Tiger, he's like a totally different person now. He loves his little adoptive niece. He's like, she's the most important thing in all of this. So cute, Oh, He's still a little like man about her, like, why don't you love this kid? I love this kid. She's like, I drew you first. Oh, oh my heart. Oh. She's like, put it on the fridge. Oh my gosh. Those are like me in my shoes. He's trying to wash her hair because she's dirty. This is such a touching scene. I'm already so emotionally invested. Oh no. Him as a daddy, I'm just like emotionally charged by that. <laughs> gets to wash her hair. Is this like three men and a baby, but in space and the captain's a female and there's a robot Bubs who's a transgender? All right, so I think they're gonna try and do the handoff again. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. I don't have any tissue or anything over here. Oh no. Oh, Uncle Tiger. Oh, he sewed her socks. That's what he was sewing. I didn't know those were her socks. The woman in the background, the older woman. I don't mean to offend, but her, her improv of the moment was a little like, oh, we're so happy that we're here. Oh, the child is saved. Tao's still focused on that money. He's gotta find his daughter. Oh, what, what is she noticing? What's that? Oh no. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, 
Oh, because it's an EMP. Oh no, bubs. Okay, she's like charging him back up. From what I've heard, EMPs knock things out, and once it's knocked out, it does not come back, if I understood correctly. Maybe it's different in the future. Appa! Oh no, Uncle Tiger! Oh gosh, getting knocked out. Oh my gosh, everyone's getting shot. Oh no. Why aren't the nanobots saving her? Is she not in enough danger? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was in Mr. Sunshine. Oh gosh, what's happening? Oh, 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 he's about to shoot Dr. Kong. <gasps> okay, one bullet would have been enough, bro. I can't believe they did that. Well, I mean, I can. Oh my gosh, all these people just getting dragged away. Look who it is. Okay, so obviously we saw that Teo has a past with him, so obviously the captain also has a past with him. Oh, okay, so their past is she almost killed him. He wants his revenge. Oh, he's like getting something out of her tooth. Oh my God, gross. Jeez, microchemical bomb, self destruct she had, ew. Oh my gosh, she had like a bomb in her mouth to like kill herself if she ever needed to. Damn, she is hardcore. She's my hero. I gotta listen. I keep forgetting there are no subtitles for this guy. So he's just talking about, oh, I recognize you, about the daughter. Okay, bringing up that stuff. Oh my gosh. He just doubled the money for Dorothy. And it's like, Dorothy, you're your daughter. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, Teo. He's gonna take the money? Wow, he's just not changing his character at all. So also he's a citizen again too, right? All right, big meeting, big meeting time. Oh my God, he's made himself a giant hologram like God or something, oh man. I don't even know what to do with this. Why do his legs look so much bigger than his head? Because <laughs> it's slightly angled from the camera. What is happening here? I am deeply disturbed by this. Okay, so they're launching like Mars is here, y'all. We have a new planet. Let's go, all the chosen. Okay, so it's basically like, hey, I'll give you money if you give up looking for Dorothy or helping Dorothy. And of course, you know, Uncle Tiger, he doesn't want that money now. He's just gonna take all the money, nobody wants it. Uncle Tiger doesn't wanna give up. She's like, dude, I understand. You got your daughter, take your money. I feel like she's like, no hard feelings. Like she's disappointed, but she's like, we're gonna do what we gotta do. You do what you gotta do. Let's just do our thing. Oh, she's crying. The tears. Whoa, she's really turned the table. She's so nice to him now. Oh, it's all of her stuff. Oh, oh, I love you more than anything in the world. I think of you when I'm eating. It's her book when she was learning Korean. I'll be a good person like you. That hit me, that hit me. Oh, this is devastating. Uh, my heart. Yeah, you should feel bad. Okay, so did he go back and take the money and get fuel rods? What's happening? He's back. Did he get a refund? He just remembered the promise he made. Okay, so he's changed his tune. He's back, I guess. He got the money back. Oh, so is that her eye or what's left of it so that she can still access the gun? Because they said that she had eye surgery. Am I understanding that correctly? I feel like we're in the final act of the movie. Woo, girl, get it. She's so hardcore. Let's go, oh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's go, bubs. Bubs to the rescue. <laughs> so awesome. This is a cool space battle, man. Woo. <laughs> man, bubs is just taking him down single-handedly. Oh my gosh, are they gonna show bubs final form? Bubs gets the money at the end to get her alterations. <laughs> All right, plan has changed a little bit. He's just gonna like, zoom in there he's like i'm gonna outrun these guys oh no what's gonna happen to bubs isn't bubs still out there bubs you gonna be okay <laughs> oh my god bubs is just like hanging on for dear life on top of that ship what happened what happened something happened okay he's getting frustrated is that what did it <laughs> oh my gosh bubs whoa 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 yeah taking him down Oh, he's getting veiny. He's hearing the news. I think they've gotten inside where they were trying to go. Oh my gosh, Bubs. What are you doing up there? Are you even like still in one piece? I feel like Bubs is gonna lose his legs. <laughs> oh, it's a giant bomb. Oh, it's the bomb that, the nuclear bomb that he's gonna set off on Earth to say bye-bye. Oh my gosh, she's the center of it. Yeah, I forgot. That's the plan, that's the plot. I don't know why I'm shocked by that. They mentioned it earlier. Oh. Uncle Tiger. 
Oh god, she immediately asks about her dad. He had to go to work. <laughs> wow, it's so like nothing can stop it. Our genius captain can't stop it. How are they gonna get out of this? He's obviously gonna try to race out of there and get as far away. So like he's not gonna stop it from exploding, but they're gonna try to escape. He thinks it's possible if they escape on the ship that they can like get to that speed and get far enough away from the Krypton waves. So I guess they're just gonna try and run for it. Simplest solution, let's book it. Oh, and of course somebody immediately stops them. Oh, look at her. She's just like, I'm done with the suit. You need to see who I am. Yeah, who's this new actor? I'm having theories about what's gonna happen. Oh, did his legs just get broken? Oh no, Bubs. Please don't kill everyone. Oh my gosh, they're gonna kill Uncle Tiger. Uh, Uncle Tiger's right there. Oh no. Please, I want a big happy family ending. Oh my gosh. I think he was gonna try and hook himself to the thing because they was gonna open the air locker. Maybe he's still gonna open the air locker. I feel like Uncle Tiger is about to die, you guys. In advance, I'm so so sad. Ah, Uncle Tiger, please survive. I don't think Uncle Tiger's gonna make it. Oh, he knew he'd, she'd grab on. Oh my gosh, Uncle Tiger, you're so smart. Oh, thank God, Uncle Tiger. That was an almost impossible save. I'm gonna take that, because I wanted him to live. They're all gonna gang together and unite to save the girl and the planet. Oh, she's also, I think, trying to warn them. Like, that's kind of the best way to handle this. They let the masses know, you know? Okay, so now the people, the chosen, are hearing what he said. They're shocked. Look at their expressions. Oh, she looks so scared, but safe inside the container. What is that? Ah! Uh-oh, you out of battery, girl. Oh, shoot. Okay, don't talk mean to the machine when you're trying to battle using it. It's gonna turn on you. Machines have feelings too. Hit those boosters! You only got 20 seconds. That's enough, apparently. That's enough time. Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Let's save a girl, Dorothy. Oh my gosh, Bubs. Are you gonna save Bubs? Oh no, Bubs. Would they possibly kill off the robot because it's a robot, so you shouldn't actually be emotionally attached to the robot, but you know what? I'm emotionally attached to the robot, so they better not kill Bubs. Ah! They better not kill Captain Chang either. Ah! Where is she? <laughs> that reminded me of Batman. Oh no. Are they gonna make it? I'm like really scared. Oh no. Where is she? <laughs> they keep going back to that. Here it comes. Oh no. What's happening? This feels like a jettison her and then distract with themselves is like they're they're on a suicide mission, basically. They took the bomb and they ran and they left her there. They gave her to Pierre. Oh my gosh. Oh, good twist. Oh my gosh. They're all gonna die. <laughs> but Earth will be safe. No. Are they gonna kill them all? Oh. And they're gonna kill him at the same time. Oh my gosh. And now they're gonna set the bomb off. They were just trying to get the distance. Oh my god. This is impossible. <laughs> Just this internal, after everything I... Oh my gosh. Okay, they're all celebrating. But they... <laughs> Woof! That was a close one. <laughs> okay, that was a little underacted. <laughs> that was a little anticlimactic with all those reaction shots. This is good though. Oh my gosh, good in a bad way. Oh, is she gonna rescue them somehow? Is the nanites gonna somehow? Sorry, I keep calling them nanites, they're nan nanobots. Either way, is the, are the nanobots gonna somehow save them? What's happening? Okay, something just like flew over there. What's going on? What is that? Okay, nobody knows what it is. It's the nanobots. Oh my God, the nanobots saved the ship. I don't think that's part of the plan. Honestly, I feel like they should have just killed them. I was ready to just bust out crying. <laughs> the repair fee is gonna be insane. Oh my gosh. Well, they lived, guys. Cheers. And now she can go down to Earth and make it better. 
Okay, so the truth is coming out. Yay, they're all getting their luck back. Oh. Is that her now? Is that Bubs? Oh, that's Porky. That's who stole their money. It is Bubs. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Okay, so they found her body. I don't understand what's happening right now, but he's somehow able to communicate with his daughter for a moment. Where's, where's the kid? What's happening? I want to be happy about this, but I'm so confused right now. Oh. Oh, was this her last memory? And so he's seeing her one last time through her memory? And this time he's not ignoring her, he's reading what she wrote. <laughs> can he feel her? I guess he can feel her. <laughs> oh God, I have so many questions, but it's so sweet. Oh, she's saying bye. So she departed the orbit officially. Okay, so they were somehow able to track her this whole time. So I remember noticing earlier in the movie that his wristband started to go off, but I didn't know if he had noticed. And so I guess he did actually pay the money. Is that what that means? So he actually paid the money, but he didn't stay for when they found her. He just bolted. Am I understanding that correctly? Oh, she's still trying to pick a voice. Oh, they become a new family. Sometimes she goes to her Captain stopped drinking. Bub's a real girl now and she wants to get cultured. <laughs> Uncle Tiger erased his tattoos so he won't scare her friends. I love this. Uncle Tao bought 10 pairs of shoes. Oh my gosh. And daddy must be happy in heaven. Are they just now back at it? Just now back working? Let's make some money. <laughs> Well guys, that was Space Sweepers and woof, that was a sweeping Korean movie. This movie is so much fun. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Though it did have some cheesy moments, but overall great action adventure sci-fi movie. Song Joon Ki, you can do no wrong. I mean, the entire cast, like all the characters on that ship were just fantastic. And I really, really loved it. I'm gonna think back fondly on this movie. I think a lot of people will as well. And let me know what you thought of the movie down below. I definitely had some major attachment to Uncle Tiger and all of the crew members on the ship and the little kid. I'm so thankful for that happy ending that they gave everyone and that they just kind of went back to what they were doing but like happier and luckier and of course they made the villain an English white dude which he had I think the most credibility to me in this movie. I was kind of like meh about him. They never really explained or at least I didn't catch it why he had those veins and stuff growing out of him. I mean they said he was like 150 years old or something so perhaps he was was like part of the first round of experiments when he was trying to develop these nanobots. I don't know. I feel like they sort of lost me there a little bit. They did lose me with some of the English speaking characters, but there were some really great international actors in this show. And I'm, I'm kind of annoyed right now because not everything is updated on Wikipedia or Asian Wiki, because I have recognized a few of them from other Korean dramas, but I'm a little upset because I wanted to know a little more about these other international actors. And it's just a little difficult as I'm recording this to <laughs> find out about them. So I'm reaching out to you guys. Do you know these actors well? Do you recognize them from Korean dramas? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching it and staying till the end of this. I'm sure it's gonna be a long one. So with that, if you're still here, I suggest you subscribe, especially if you liked this sort of content. I'm very interested in doing more Korean movies. So make sure to subscribe, let me know. Ring that bell to be notified when a new video is up. And until next time, thank you, thank you so much for watching and subscribing for those of you who have. And I'll see you soon.